Okay, I think we're ready to start the last uh, press conference here in the station. And we start with uh, Kaisa. What do you say about your race, uh, Kaisa? It looked like the third shooting was the most important one. Yeah, definitely. It was the key moment today to shoot zero in the third shooting. I didn't feel so strong in the beginning on the on the laps, and I lost. Uh, I was shooting pretty slowly the prone shootings and got one on one. So the start was not perfect, but uh, good enough to uh, to be in the game. And then, yeah, zeros in the third shooting uh, gave me uh, uh, advantage uh, for the for the last shooting to be there alone and do it relaxed. How were you planning the last shooting? What went through your mind when you went in for the last shooting? Ah, I will not tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it was a, a stressy, stressful race with a lot of up and downs in the list for a lot of athletes. Did you feel quite sure after the third shooting? Uh, I knew that uh, if it's windy on the shooting range, I might get uh, penalties. Like, uh, because the um, wind was changing a lot and sometimes it was uh, stronger and sometimes not. So I hope that I will get uh, good time when I come to the shooting range and not too much wind and uh, yeah but uh, but as you said it was up and down also for me but uh, I'm happy that uh, I I did it and also in the last standing not more than one and now you have got a very good uh, opening of the season what are your plans are you going straight to Hoffelsen or what are you continue all the World Cups before come to Lahti? Uh, yes, we go straight to Hofilsen tomorrow, and uh, yeah, the, I, this gives me a good uh, start for this season. For the next week, I can go relaxed, but it's totally new races next week, so I don't expect too much. I know that I have to work hard every race, and and it's pretty tight in the women, and it's uh, many girls who can be on the top. So as we have seen this week. So it will be interesting winter. For sure. Uh, Vali, uh, can you give us a comment about your race? What was uh, the best for you in your race? In this moment, the tournament was for me successful because I was two times on the podium. И сегодня потрудились хорошо организаторы с трассы, и мне не удалось упасть. И это для меня было самое важное. Uh, this has been a quite successful, successful competition for me. I've been two times on the podium and uh, I want to congratulate the, the, um, the courses on the courses today. They were very good. Was it uh, difficult today, uh, shooting? It was a lot of uh, penalty loops for a lot of athletes. Ну, в принципе, после двух дней, которые я отстрелялась чисто на ноль, то сегодня четыре промаха уже кается и много, но были моменты ветреные, которые мне пришлось заехать на два штрафных круга. В целом, то неплохо. Uh, well, maybe I was not uh, that successful today on the range. The, uh, there was a little bit of wind issues, but uh, I am I'm content with the with the entire race. And what are your goals for the rest of the season now when you have uh, your sister is out and uh, Olena has quit? Uh, is it the World Championships or is it more individual than relay like it was last year? What what are the plans for the rest of the season? Um, well, I don't really know. I am a, I'm a top athlete and uh, my goal is to always uh, compete. Okay, thank you so far. And Dorothea, uh, we found out it's your second podium on the World Cup. That's right? Yeah. Tell us about the race. We were very impressed the last lap. You uh, looked nearly dead before the last lap and then you were following her all the way to the finish. <laughs> yeah, I was really dead. <laughs> and yeah, but it was a um, good last round, I think, for me. Uh, you won tw uh, twice in Norway also beginning of the season. Have you? What have made you so much better this year? Have you trained different or what have you 
Um, we have a new staff and new trainer and I feel really good with them. Um, uh, yeah, I think I made a little more training than last year and I, was, I wasn't I was ill this summer, so it was like perfect, yeah. So are you the new star who is going to break the dominance of Kaisa and Daria and the others this winter? Yeah, I... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, tell us about your uh, visit here in Astrosund. It didn't start so good for you. <coughs> no, I went um, here Thursday and then Friday I made the training and then I was ill. I had problems with breathing and um, I went to the doctor from the IBU and they said, no, you have to take antibiotic and um, um, I wanted to stop but I I felt, I felt really bad and uh, also for um, mixed relay because I, I know that I'm in shape. And um, also for the for the individual, but um, it was a good choice, I think, to stop and to rest. Uh, I saw you also in Shushan. You looked a little more fit in the track in Shushan. Uh, is the sickness who still hold you back a little bit? Yeah, of course. Uh, I wasn't trained so much these days. I was more in the bed than on track. And um, yeah, but I can feel that um, with some days I can get in shape again. And now with your second podium, do you see the first victory coming this season? I don't know, but I hope so. <laughs> In which distance do you think you have the biggest chance to take the first victory? Uh, it doesn't matter? No, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, no, <laughs> but I don't know which one. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you, Dorothea. Are there any questions to the girls? Or ladies, maybe I should say. <laughs> thank you very much and good luck.